Oh my goodness. That's crazy. So what, you think an MP, an elected uh, politician, should be allowed to say things like that? I don't think so. That's pretty crazy. That's a bad word there. The message that he's sending, um, you know, there are young readers as well. You know, uh, that word is not appropriate. I think he's exactly right, and I think the story isn't use of language. I think it's uh, exactly what he's talking about and what Harper is doing with the uh, with the budget. It's not like anyone hasn't heard these words before. The only place I would say he's a little off base is I don't like Nazi analogies. Uh, you know, I, I don't think they're helpful or useful. So I don't like jackboot, goose stepping, all these types of things. I think they're they're inappropriate references. But otherwise, to be to be angry and uh, you know all that kind of stuff. I mean, you know, there's no news here. It might be a little bit harsh for someone with his public status, but on the other hand, it is uh, it is actually nice to see somebody kind of actually stand up and be this motivated about something. What do you think of that coming from uh, MP? Doesn't surprise me. I have no use for politicians anyway, so. Is it, do you think a politician should be punished for, for saying something like that publicly? Uh, hard to say, and Pat Martin's uh, he's so controversial anyways. Well, I think it's a bit extreme uh, that, I mean, to the extent elected officials are, in a sense, role models, that uh, probably it would, you can express the same thought somewhat uh, without necessarily relying upon expletives. Do you think that, that he should be punished for that? No, I think it's just an error of judgment, and he'll probably regret it. And uh, 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 certainly... I think it's an example of why uh, you should always think twice before you press the send button.